Hello everyone, all well, my sporadic work on NoTrack has come around again, and I recently released a new version, 0.8.8, .8, adding a couple of features to it. So NoTrack is a network-wide DNS server which blocks tracking sites, as it says there at the top of the screen. So the changelog includes added a new block list for coin mining, improving access to the investigate page, and a new style login screen. And it's this side of it I wanted to talk about in this video, I've been trying to make it look a little bit prettier. So I've drawn a couple of new backgrounds, and this is one for the login screen. Now this is scaled vector graphics, so it looks pretty whether you're displaying it on a 4K screen or a mobile screen, or shrinking it right down. And as you'll notice there, it is adaptive CSS, so it will work on mobiles and desktop screens. Yes, I've got the warning that the connection is not secure. I could use HTTPS, but I've not enabled cookies for the HTTPS version of this site, and anyway it will kick off because it's not a valid HTTPS certificate, so I'm warned either way. It's test and test if you want the username and password. <laughs> it's just something that I can demonstrate this with. And this is the new styling I've been working on for the past couple of days. So if the version you're using looks completely different, yes, this is why I've not even uploaded this code yet. It is completely fresh. So I wanted to try and make it look a little bit more colourful, use a few transparency effects, but not go too over the top, because a minimalist look is still important. I don't want to overload anyone with fancy graphics or too much information. And you'll see when I go to paused or disabling it completely, this status box changes colour. Before it just changed the colour of the word in the middle, so active went to paused and pause was in yellow. Now the entire box changes. And if I disable blocking entirely, then I've got this warning here that, yeah, no blocking is going to take place, and, and I'm going to get loads of trackers and adverts coming down straight to my computers. And it also changes colour if there's an upgrade available. That's another new feature I've just added, because the upgrade notification used to be at the bottom of the screen, which is not very helpful. So yeah, there's a little partial transparency on everything there, and the menu is also partially transparent. I think I might change these colours here to white. That might look a little bit smarter than the blue. Something I might do. I haven't done anything more yet on the theme changes. Uh, this is something I'm definitely going to have to update here. That, uh, that select there just doesn't look very good at all. It's very basic, that is. A very basic indeed. <laughs> that pagination, maybe that could be changed. I don't know, I don't think that one's so bad really. What I was talking about earlier with the investigate page, so if I'm looking at this list of websites here, oh, let's just go to something I don't really know what it is, um, which is a little bit obvious what all these are. Oh, anyway, let's just go to Stack Overflow, just get something there. The investigate page tells me who the domain belongs to and how many times my systems have accessed it throughout the course of the day. It's effectively a who is lookup, but built into the device, so I don't get any adverts and other rubbish coming down when I'm trying to look at the who is page. It's better integration, really. Looks like the config page could do a bit more work on the styling. Not sure why I'm not displaying three columns across. I thought I did before. Hmm. Not sure if I've changed something there. Anyway, that's something I'll look at later. The number of block lists has been gradually increasing. I've added a section here for crypto coin mining since that, uh, that seems to be getting a bit prominent these days. and uh, It's a shame really with crypto coin mining that it did seem a very promising idea, but it is now being abused. I ended up waiting another day between when I originally filmed the video, so after another day's working on the theming, this is what I have. So all the colours now being changed, I've added a system status into the side menu, and the pagination boxes are now recoloured, and I think they look a lot smarter now. Yes, I'm very happy with those colours. Well, that was a look at some of these changes I've been making. Let me know what you think of the theme. Is it better? Do you like it? And if you want to try out NoTrack to protect your network from trackers and adverts, it's very easy to do. You can just install it on a Raspberry Pi or, or even on the main system that you're using. There's an install script. It's pretty much run the install script, point your DNS settings at a device, and you're done. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.